In this video, traders, we're going to look at why a 90% success rate isn't as good as it seems. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Okay, so we see this all the time, right? When people are advertising, normally advertising systems or bragging about how their performance is and they come up with stuff like, hey, you know, we've had an 85% success rate or a 90% success rate or 99, whatever it is. And everyone gets drawn into that. Everyone sees that as a really good headline figure. And just put yourself in an objective position now, right? You see that and then you see this number. 35%. Someone says to you, I've got a 35% success rate. The other person says to you, I've got a 85% success rate. Let's not even go to 90. Which one sounds better? It does. Naturally, the 85 sounds better. We're just born to feel that that is better. A higher percentage feels like it's got more success to it, right? But as we know in trading, it's not about the success rate. It's two things we need to look at. It's a balancing act. On one side, you've got the percentage success rate of your trades, and the other side, you've got the risk to reward ratio of each trade or the payoff or expectancy of the whole lot. Okay, and too many people are looking at this big headline figure. Listen, guys, we can come up easily with a strategy on both sides of the coin, right? Just off the top of our heads now, let's look and let's think how we can have a 90% success rate strategy. The 90% success rate strategy would be like this. We'd go long, we'd have a two pip target and a 2000 pip stop loss. That would more than likely hit our 90% hit a target 90% of the time, especially if we added into the fact into that mix that we're going long, we're going to go long 10 pips below, we're going to go long 10 pips below, we're going to keep adding to the position and we're going to come out at two pips profit for the multiple of position. So our a limit would be here, then our limit's gonna be somewhere like here, then it's gonna be somewhere like, you get the point. So you're basically giving yourself a massive probability of success. Now that looks great in a headline, doesn't it? 90%, oh, this, is, this guy's a genius, this girl's a genius. But there's gonna be times when you lose. And those 10%, let's just say there's 10% of the time you lose all of the money you've gained, you know that you on a, it's a losing proposition. And so as traders, we're thinking about the risk reward ratio and the percentage. Now let's go to the other end of the scale and let's think of a, a strategy that would give us a 35% win rate or a 10% win rate. If but let's even do that. Let's go right down and think, okay, what's going to give us a 15% success rate? 15% success rate could be something exactly the opposite, where we say, you know what, I'm going to have a 10 pip stop, I'm going to have a 700 pip target, and I'm just going to leave that. And I'm going to run with that position. I'm going to scale into the position as it goes. So you're pyramiding in. So adding, 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 drink, bring that stop up very likely you're going to get stopped out on that, very likely. But when you do get a winner, it's going to be huge. And so this is absolutely meaningless, guys. The percentage rate is meaningless. I've studied traders who have had very low hit rates, like literally 35%, 40%. Most common is something like 50 to 60%, but it's how much they make when they're right. That's the key to the whole game. And there are strategies that actually focus on being right very small amount of times. A hedge fund called the Black Swan Hedge Fund, which is exactly this. It's probably a 15% success rate. They make trades, they make puts, they buy 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 puts. They buy puts. Worthless, 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 jackpot. Bang, and that jackpot makes up for may way more than all the losers. If you flip on the flip side, selling options, selling way out of the money options, two standard deviations away, three standard deviations away, whatever it may be, you're selling that, you get the premium, you get the premium, you get the premium, you get the premium, win, 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 win. You get 100, 200 winners in a row, then every so often you get extreme move, bang, hammers you massively, wipes out all that profit potentially, and then you're back to square one. So it's completely meaningless. However, if you had that high win rate and you had a decent risk reward, now we're talking, right? If you had a 90% success rate and a 50-50 risk reward ratio, I'll take that all day, every day. That would be a money machine, wouldn't it? Absolute money machine. But this is where we've got to find the balance between the two. Same if we went around and we said, okay, 
you've got a 15% success rate, but the risk to reward ratio is like 2000 to one. It's once we can get over that hill of saying, okay, it's having those both combined that's that what is what matters. And even, you know, when we say risk reward ratio, even if we said, forget about its headline and say, hey, I've got a risk reward ratio of a thousand to one, that sounds great, but we can make that up off the top of our head now and go, okay, one pip stop, thousand pip target. That's a risk reward ratio of a thousand to one. It definitely is. What's the success rate of that? Probably 0.1%. The chance of us going straight away uh, in our in our favor without stopping us out of pip and then going and going and going to 4,000 pips is gonna be slim. So we've gotta find the balance between the two. So these headline numbers of 90% success rate, X win rate, they are appealing to the lizard brain in us or in the new traders who are brand new on their journey. Why should they know any better? They just know a higher percentage sounds really cool. It's like 98%, whoa, 90 that sounds really good, I'm gonna go with them. Without fully understanding that the risk reward ratio is true. So for us, as traders, most of the guys who are subscribed to the channel, we're intermediate traders, some advanced, some are on the beginning of the journey, but the bulk kind of sit in this intermediate range because most of the content we're doing here is sharing to become a better trader. So you've gone through probably quite a bit of a journey yourself. You've felt some hardship. You've done this, you've done that. And now you're seeking little bits of nuggets of knowledge. You're probably five out of five videos out of six are no use to you. But the one that is, you're like, yeah, great. I'll use that and leverage on that. And that's how you're progressing. But for those of us, we are constantly looking for this with our setups. We come up with a setup. It says, okay, this is a really great momentum trade setup. How often does it work? Very, very frequently how often does it stop us out very very frequently okay now we need to add those two up and see is there an edge there is there enough mileage in the trade when it works to overcome the time when it gets stopped out and vice versa so looking at both of the scales and if you can always put you in your head whenever you're looking at a new strategy or thinking of a strategy or thinking of subscribe or whatever you're doing looking at this and saying okay what's the percentage success rate what's the risk reward ratio if I now can get a balance of that that tips into profitability, I'm onto a winner. If it's obviously just based on this percentage rate and it doesn't, and I know there's vulnerability there, I'm not gonna take it. And digressing slightly, guys, we've done a video on this uh, before on the channel. If you're a subscriber, you may have watched it. Appreciate the subscription if you are a subscriber. We talked about these um, services that are selling signals, uh, like these, these copy traders. And one guy was doing exactly this kind of martingale system. He had like a 100% success rate, never took a loss because he was adding, always adding, and he was in the right conditions where eventually the market would come back and get him out for a small profit. But he would have realized losses of almost his whole account. And it was like an, a, a ridiculous situation where, hey, it's gonna take you one or two trades, one trade, you'll blow up you know, five years of success. And sure enough, that's what happened. A couple of trades uh, just blew him up massively, and and the whole thing went to went to went to the dogs. So, nine percent success rate, guys, isn't as good as it seems. Most of you probably know that already. Hopefully, if you haven't, this has given you an insight into what really matters. It's matching that risk reward ratio or payoff per trade with the success rate to find out exactly the expectancy of the system of the strategy that we're using. All right, guys, take care. Whatever you're trading, good trading. See you in the next one. Goodbye.